Posey Gloves here, and in this video on FM synthesis, I'm going to talk about the idea of modulation, sort of as a broad spectrum, pun intended, and hertz, because that really hurts me, man. So hertz is basically, so we talked about this idea of the ratio. So we play it, it will go off that many, that we will, you know, we talked about that. So hertz will do a permanent offset. It will not vary according to the pitch. For example, if we do 165 hertz, no matter what tone I play, it's just going to play 165 hertz. And that's very useful with the ratio as we can play it one ratio and then it will add 165 to whatever ratio this is, allowing us to add linearity. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, uh, well, as we go up, so down here, we, we're playing a very low note. It's got 165. That's actually going to put us a couple octaves off but as we get up here the amount of variation isn't nearly as it's not even close to an octave off so now that's not something you need to be completely aware of you just need to know that this adds a permanent offset to whatever you're doing that becomes very useful later but understanding that relationship like if you understood what i just grasped then you're well on your way to understanding some more fundamental important concepts is the hertz ratio, like if we have from 10,000 to 20,000, that's one octave, 165 hertz. That's not that much of that octave. But from 20 hertz to 40 hertz, that's one octave, 165 hertz. That's more than my four of those octaves. And if we do it again, that's more than four. That's more than uh, eight of those. If we do it again, we get another 40 hertz because, you know, from 40 to 80 is the next octave from 80 to 160. So we've re realistically jumped about, uh, we have just jumped three octaves. From that one thing so it's really important to sort of keep in mind what this hertz thing is doing to our signal when we're playing lower notes this could be helpful when for example we hit low notes and we get oscillations that are too slow they it'll become useful later on some i don't reach for as much as i probably could so anyways that's what that's about now what is the deal with modulation what's that all about we talked about this earlier so Modulation, and actually to demonstrate this, Massive may be the best example of this, but I'm going to leave it right here. FM is the best, but I mean the more intuitive example of this. So I'm going to open up Massive. More plugins. Doo -doo -doo. I know I didn't say I'm going to be using Massive, but I'm just demonstrating modulation because it's something that you really need to get your head wrapped around. It is when one signal tells another signal how to behave. It says, do this thing, and it will do it. It will say, okay, I will do that. So for example... I have now if you don't you don't need to know about this even though I have a whole series on how to use this I have some noises going on right here well let's say I want to tell this amplifier to turn off using modulation well I can take an envelope and this is gonna tell my signal how to behave it's gonna say when you are at it'll say turn off down here and turn on up here and I can configure it to do this thing for me and I'm gonna do a couple of things you don't need to worry about so essentially what I've just done is I have told this knob right here, which is controlling the amplification of my sound, it's controlling the volume. It says, when you are all the way down, meaning down here, turn on and then turn off really quick. And it says it just like that to, to my knob so that my knob knows what to do. So when I play it, I get a click because my attack is super mega fast. But you can see, it says, take, take your time. This is relax, relax. And then I can tell it, no, 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 I want it faster. And it can tell it to do that. And so it's telling this how to behave. Well, an LFO is an oscillation that tells something how to behave. So I could say, turn on and off at this rate, at whatever rate my LFO is. And so my LFO is moving at like freaking, oh yeah, 100, 100 times per second. Let's go down to like 15 times a second. Well, I'm not sure what that 15 up there represents. Anyways, it's going slow if I make it fast. Said on off, on off, on off, on off, on off, on off, da 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 da. It's telling it how to behave. It is modulating that signal. You do not hear that sound. You hear the effects of that sound. And as a result, you kind of do hear that tone. If we speed it up to audio rate, meaning going faster, moving so fast that it's a pitch to us, that effect becomes a tone. And that's why that sounds like that. So that's what modulation is. Now, here we can send audio rate LFOs, or they're not really LFOs, they're just audio rate modulators they're just called modulators and they can be they can tell another signal how to behave and that's the general takeaway from this is you could take one operator you can use this operator at its particular rate or uh using hertz or its ratio 
to tell another signal how to behave. What are we modulating with FM? Well, it's in the name frequency. We are modulating frequency modulation. People that know more about what they're talking about will call it phase. And even more knowledgeable people will tell you some of the, the math behind it. Not the math so much as the details behind it. This is something that I have struggled to find anywhere except in the math. So in the next video, we're going to talk sort of Maybe not in the next one. In a future video in this series, we will talk about exactly what modulation means. Because people think, oh yeah, it's going up, going down. Therefore, it's telling my signal to go up, go down. It's telling you how to behave. But anyone that's modulated with the triangle wave, as we showed you in the earlier video. So we'll make this a triangle. Do, 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 do. And we'll modulate this. And we'll make it really slow so you can hear it. We get like this teleporting thing. Like one note, another note, another note, one note, no, no, no. It's like this weird thing. Well... That's because they don't understand exactly what modulation means in this case, what, what it's using to tell that signal how to behave. In the case of the envelope I was using earlier, it's really easy to tell where, uh, how to behave. It says turn off, turn off, turn on, turn off. And so it's pretty straightforward. As this line goes up, more of it opens up. But in the case of something like an LFO, for example, I'm not sure actually. I've not spent too much time thinking about how that would work. But uh, in the case of FM at least, that is, it uses something called the slope, the change in slope, the differential. Uh, technically, it's the integral, I believe. I don't know enough math. I've like never taken calculus, but I read, I've been reading up on this for a while and I've tried to understand it. And I've gotten to the point where I know more or less what's happening. So it uses the difference in change on the slope. We're going to talk about that in another video because it's a whole nother topic all on its own. But uh, yeah, so... The takeaway is you now know that modulation is something you do not hear modulation. You hear the effects of modulation. When modulation becomes fast enough that it's an audio rate modulation, you actually hear the audio rate happening. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day. Opposing